Well, at least I can have a good reminder of the progress being made. We got one of those masks remains. We have some songs. I need 15 more masks. I have Harkitator to fly still. You know, all that good stuff. It's always nice to keep track of all that. Then again, I want to make sure I do everything right. Which, speaking of which, I need to make sure I remember what the number is. 912. Okay, got it. 912 it is. Let me go then. To get that number. Last thing I need is to make this game even harder for myself than it's already been. So give me that goddamn number. I already know what it is. And you don't need to know that I know what it is. So just give me money later. Thanks, asshole. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Jorah's Mask. This is your host, DMJ406. And, well, now we managed to have a Goron mask, there's more I could do. Also, I realized the, uh, the shooting gallery game at the swamp, I did realize there's another prize there. I'm gonna go back for that later. But for now, gotta do the rest of the games of the Honey and Darling Shop, this time, hopefully for good. Isn't that right? Hey, we have visitor, honey. Is that a customer? Oh, it's this little shit. It's time for you to play basketball. Hope you enjoy watching his dance. I don't, but thanks, I guess. Ah, jeez! Ugh, I gotta make sure I don't run around like an idiot. Which I keep managing to do. Yeah, it looks like in these mini games, you gotta be fast. Because if you wait too long, the, the whole thing gets faster, and then it just gets... Ah! Awful! That's what I told you. God damn it! I always thought I pulled out a bomb! We already won, honey. He's a fucking moron. I can't believe he just rolled off into the water. Let's dance again! Damn you! Oh, I hate these two. I hate them so much. Oh no, my hot spring water! I forgot it doesn't last a long amount of time. So yeah. The hot spring water will not last long. I did think to myself, I wondered, like, why did I even bother <laughs> taking it if I was just going to go back here anyway? Eh, don't worry. We can always go back and get more later. I think I only really use one more right now that I really want to use. It's for that hole in the area before you get to, uh, Snowhead or whatever. Wherever the Gorons live. I'll forget the name. Oh, honey, you got a perfect score. Damn him, fine. Take his face, you go pass and go. Leave us alone. Jeez, fine. Be lovey dovey, fine. Good lord. Oh yeah, I should probably talk to the bomber, see if they got any more info. Oh, you got a notebook. Let me give you some information. You say the mountain smithy can sharpen swords to make them way more powerful. You should take the blade of yours over there sometime. Yeah, if I melted their uh, hearth, I could do that. But I'll say this. There is a reason you don't want to do that. And, well, I'll just say this. You'd rather complete the um, dungeon in Snowhead first before you go there. That's all I'll tell you for now. It's not worth doing yet. So that's why I'm not going to do it. But having a stronger sword would be great, and I'll say this. Well, basically you want to be able to complete the second dungeon early, so I'll have to think out how I want to handle that. Oh, you bought notebook. Here's some information. Here, Anju, that scare bait from the stockpot in, is all upset because her fiance cafe's MIA. That means he's missing. Uh, IA. <laughs> That's in action, bro. Don't you worry. I am. I am slowly working on that one, but well, I need to be able. Now I have the Goron suit. I can kind of work on that, but I don't want to do that fully yet. You bombers, no luck means you're one of us. Here's some info. It's here on a rainy day like today. And the Goron elder and his young song live way up in the mountains. It looks really cold up there these days. I wonder if the kiddo's okay. And he helped me make plot stuff like this. The seems of Gordon Miller has a son who's still too young to be away from his daddy for long. That's right. I should probably go there now I think about it. There is more I could do, but I'll worry about more of this later. We should probably make some progress on the plot again. So! Go north, you idiot. Ooh, I do like how there's like snow on the map, too. To the mountain village! Away! I should consider getting more hot spring water. Also, it sucks that I have to keep going up there all the time. Also, oh, hang on a sec. I may as well have this out just so I can get across this. Something else I have to mention, real quick. Like, you know how I need the frickin' 
lens of truth, be able to see things that are, you know, invisible. How did the other Gorons get up here? I just realized that. I was like, yeah, the other Gorons made their way up here. How? Like, that's not just me, right? Why is it that I need this to see my way up there? But there are Gorons who got up there. Do they all borrow this and then trap themselves up there through this off to send it back to... Unless there's multiple of these, but I don't see them having it. Makes me wonder, am I really the asshole here who can't see the truth? <laughs> because I'm a piece of shit, I need the lens of truth to be able to see things that everybody else already can. Oh my god. Asshat is a real asshole. I should have changed the name to asshole. Damn it. But yeah, I just found that weird. Like, how do these other Gorons get up here? I'm the one that has lens of truth. But, you know what? Not gonna worry about it. Ah, uh, they do give me magic refills. I should have figured, but I didn't. Alright then. Let's go! Let's try to get hot spring water again. I want to melt one thing. I'll see how I can melt two. But yep, just remember, you don't have long. So, make sure you move quickly with these. Looks like you have a couple minutes before they go bad. Yeah, there's only like two places I could think of. They probably want you to do this for at least one thing. So, let's go! Roll, it's roll! Oh, God! Oh, I thought I could make it. Woo! Oh, God! Why would you do it this way? Yeah, by the way, this whole uh, rolling thing can be a little weird. Get your magic on. You roll long enough, you basically get magic so you can do this. So, yep, that's how that works. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm so close to me. I don't think I'm going to make it. It's what he wants more when I die up here. I need something that gives me good flavor. Yeah, good for you. Hate to say it, but I'm not going to give it to you. I'm leaving. Oh, wait, wrong way. I want to go up this way. Right, it's up ahead. Just remember, you don't get long in the water, so make sure you hold on to it. This is a great way to get around, by the way, though. Being able to roll around like this at the speed of sound, it allows you to really get around a lot more quickly. It can be a little rough to control, because, of course, it's one of the early 3D Zeldas it would be. Oh, yeah, this is what I needed it for. I forgot about you, old man. Let me help you out. Are you good? I'm really Oh, Yeah, dude, did you not look at me when I unfroze you? Did you like lose your whole perception of time? This must be good. Am I hallucinating? I'm magic power. I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. You think this plasma weather that's playing a snore and I must leave the Gorn village and protect my dear son. So you say I must insist that you get out of my way this instant! W what? Dude, you're gonna take too long. My son is crying because he misses me? Yes. He's crying. Why do you do that? Because I went there. My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, child. You've this work to do. Huh. Do money. For you, Goose, you're freaking my imagination. I no longer care. You feel pity for my crying son. And please, why you sing my song to sleep with this song I'm about to play on my drum? It's the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Ah, I see. Oh, you can play it with one drum? Damn. How does this song go? <laughs> huh? Let me play once more. <laughs> I'm thinking. I, I think that's it. Um. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah, it's just like this. Oh. <laughs> no, good. I can only remember the beginning. Yep. I was the beginning. Thanks. Just do that. L-Y-X, okay? So, yeah, this is a weird one. You actually learn only part of this song because his memory is not great. There you go. You learned the lullaby intro. 
Yay, I learned half of a song! Let's celebrate! <laughs> what is wrong with me? You learned a little by intro. It's the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. You think? I never get it. It's okay. I can't play very well. Anyway, I'm counting on you. I was half thinking of like putting him in a bottle and taking him with me. No, it's regular spring water. Oh well. Oh well. I don't need to go in the hole that badly. I'll worry about it later. I want to be able to make my way to Snowhead. Because, well, I want to be able to get my stronger sword, damn it. And doing as I would need to do in order to be able to do it right. I saved you, asshole. How you doing? Good morning. How are you, Lave? You want to enter the garage shrine? Yes, probably. Then open the door of the gourd pound. Go to close the right way so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? So, yep. Now you have to find this guy and get him to open it. Just hurry up, I'm going to close right away, so hurry up. Yep, you have to now find him so you can enter the uh, area here. But now I know the lullaby intro will be good. Let's do this! I still hate that I'm the only person who can't see the truth at all of anything. Ah! Oh, the crying baby, son of a bitch, I'll kill him. Looks like his brother needs to beat him up. If you're not his brother and you shouldn't beat up a baby. That's not nice. I'm here to help. Everybody calm down. I'm here to help. Let's see what you all have to say. The money, you're alive. This is wonderful, but there's no time to get up. It's only time I'm crying. Look at this. The doors that were lit just lit have gone out. Oh, I can care the terrible crying. Let me talk to him. Uh, uh, I went with the daddy, daddy. I'm cold, daddy. Uh, Darby, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? I can play the intro to the frickin' lullaby that you love so much. Maybe that will remind you that your daddy is still alive somewhere, if you need that reminder at all. It's song, it's song Daddy always plays me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the ending. Okay. There you go. Well, he calmed down just so he could sing this? Wow. Well, then again, I guess you should never underestimate the power of a good lullaby. Yep, there we go. Sleep, baby, sleep. <laughs> the Goron's lullaby. Throw this light in your face and make you sleep. <laughs> See? You only need to hit two more notes, dude. Like, how did I hit just two more notes? What is wrong with you? There we go, he's finally getting sleepy. Go to sleep, young one. Please don't pull on my lip anymore. Please, it hurts. Well, either way. Um, it's just like, Daddy's right beside me. Oh, thank God that baby's done. Oh, sweet Jesus. A god's grief. You play the gore by the gore try to help the elder son fall asleep. This also lit up two torches. Ah, the torches. How helpful. The lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. So I blanket its listeners and calm while making eyelids grow heavy. So good to know and make people fall asleep if you need it. Huh. Okay, everybody else is asleep now too. I guess they won't mind if I take this off. Oh, I also... Sorry for making your floor wet. <laughs> if somebody just woke up, they'd be like, DUDE! I didn't wet myself, I swear! <laughs> it, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's really not what you think. Seriously. I know what you're gonna say. It's not what you think it is. Alright. Now that I can light these torches, I should do just that. I hope I don't want to be quick with this. Then again, there's one thing I, they'd expect me to be, it's quick. So many of these delight. Now come on! Let me light all three of these. Everybody warm yet? What the? Yeah, freaking come on, man. Did I light every torch or not yet? Or did I go too slowly? 
Let's say, is there any more torches? Nope. Well, I lit everything up. You guys happy yet? Hey, I bet you're the son crying because you're so hungry. There's nothing to do. It's got so cold. We just can't even get our hands on any of our food. Because we won't go hungry and die. I've heard you supply food in a way, so I'll be fine. Oh, good for you, asshole. Glad you're healthy. You finally quit crying. There's nothing to stop from crying again. And when it's going, I want to start crying. Please don't. Yeah, looks like I went too slow. Damn it! How the hell am I supposed to... Hmm. I feel like there's a way to be able to light these up quickly, but... Ugh. Deku sticks don't last long. I forgot. The tool I've always been using to go fast. God, put it on! I'm gonna say, because I'm pretty sure... That I can't, um... I don't think the Goron has the ability to light flames. If I remember correctly, he can't do that. So I shall light everything a flame myself. Hoping, of course, everything stays lit. Now come! I use my speed to show you that I am indeed the fastest thing alive. I can light everything with all due haste. Come! Let's light these three real quick. Hurry! And don't fuck me again! No! How dare you try to fuck me! There we go! See, that bunny hood really comes in handy. This ought to make things a little warmer, right? I can only hope. Oh god, I forgot. You guys didn't see any of that. My bad. You'll have the Goron tries. Add your notebook. Now the chandelier is rotating like mad. Well. At least now this place might warm up a bit. Should I break the chandelier? Ugh, I gotta remember to go back to both screens after cutscene's over. Something I'm still not used to yet. But yep, time to show you the best use for the, uh, the rolling. Which, well, honestly, should be obvious. Really, he's trying to sleep. Don't break those! Sorry, I thought it'd be funny. So, yep, you use this to basically, woo, bash the vases. You basically get stuff for bashing all the vases on that thing. So, let's break them all. Did I just turn to stone? I guess so. But again, that power is very useful. All right. Number two. Get another one of these. I pick you. But yeah, this power is actually extremely nice. It's honestly probably my favorite of the um, uh, masks, the transformation masks. Then again, the Deku Scrub one is very basic, so. Pretty easy to understand why I'm not the biggest fan of that one, I would think. Hit it! Oh, look at that! Is that rock candy? I guess. Grab it! Well? That's what this is for. You found the rock sirloin that a food loving Goron hit in the chandelier! Oh, freaking rock sirloin. I didn't even realize they could be cooked like this. I'll leave it there for now. For now, I'm gonna break the rest of these vases so that way I know that I didn't miss anything. I don't know if there's even anything else left in there, but I'm not! Gambling to miss anything. Ooh, free red rupee. Oh yeah, you can still take care of some log falls and Goron, but if you stay rolled up, you're fine. Because you know, their bodies are flexible yet sturdy. But their legs are weak. He's got weak legs, especially where he's going. But soon, could be to death. Hopefully not. Alright, one more! You're ruining my alignment, asshole! All right, and fly! Of course, all the last ones I broke actually had stuff. I was like, I could probably use this um, money later. I know why. I gotta remember to go back to the lottery after six o'clock hits. All right, so now I have this. Oh, God. I basically wanna take this all the way back to that guy, so. You know, it's not a rough trip, it's just annoying. 
Once again, this game in a nutshell. Although, all the times I keep saying, OW! Asshole. All the times I keep saying this game's annoying. You know, it's weird. I keep thinking I want to just record this game, get it over with. But I honestly find myself keep coming... To keep coming back to it. Like... When I think of getting ready to play this game again for the channel, I'm just like, oh, I'm, it's not like I'm, oh, no, I gotta do this again. I'm now like, I wanna try to get through this now. I guess I'm falling for the allure of the game again. And I have said it numerous times that this is one of the most interesting Zelda games. It's just, I really don't like the main gameplay loop. It's like Ocarina of Time, but not quite as smooth for me. And, well, the whole repeating events thing I guess we haven't gone through too much of that yet, but once we get to the side quest, we probably will. That's when it gets annoying. But, you know, the game usually leads itself to be appealing enough to really keep coming back, so. Maybe I'll readjust my opinion of this game. Maybe I'll put it above Breath of the Wild, finally. Breath of the Wild. Oh, my least favorite 3D Zelda, probably. God. I used to like it at first, and now the appeal really wore off on me, because it's just not that good. Hey, buddy! Eat it! Oh! That's it! It's so good! I dream about it! Did I ever find quality rock sirloin? This man's a favorite plus to be this meal! Damn, he is devouring that rock! Oh! My energy has returned to me! I'm coming down now! Wait one moment! I had to roll! Of course. Oh, I wonder who it might be! What was the door, buddy? You are alive? Yes, I see! That's the reason why you do my favorite food! Oh, I forgot! Please accept this as a token of gratitude! The Don Garrow's mask! All oh, right, I'll need this. It looks just like Don Garrow, conductor of the Frog Choir. It's going so well that no one would even think twice if you were to conduct the Frog Choir for some freaking reason. Yep! It was all to get a frog mask, basically. He gave the rocks early to the Hungry Gore on the Mountain Village Cliff. In return, he gave you Don Garrow's mask. I hope that sparrow comes soon so I can hear the frogs live in performance. Hope as I buy it's still cold. I'm going back to go on village. Yep, that's the thing. You know all those weird stray frogs I've seen around? The Don Girl's mask is needed for the uh, quest involving those assholes. So, yeah. Oh, anyway, now I know the Goron's lullaby. I should probably go up here, right? Because if I go this way... This way is Snowhead. Beware of the Slippery Valley Trail and the Giant Vlog Snowballs. Actually, I kind of want to go back and do some stuff at Goron Village before I head up there. Because you notice, on my way with the Rock Sirloin, there was a Deku Scrub over there. Looks like he wanted to talk to you because he's an asshole. Oh, God, help! You got frozen again! Ugh. Oh yeah, I forgot you can go up some steep slopes of that too. Like I said, this this mask is super useful with its traversal. It really is. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, excuse me, bro. I'm not gonna follow you around. Oh yeah, there's something else of spring as usual. Go on powder keg shop. New customers will be tested on proper usage. The shopkeeper. Be tested on proper usage, eh? I, mean, I should have seen it coming, but still. Anyway, we have a Deku Scrub here. Thanks, Tommy Bot. I do business with a focus on Korok clientele. And that, sir, makes you a customer. I now got a special trade offer just for you. You're my biggest bob bag. Rarely placed for 1,000 rupees. Turn, you'll give me your big bob bag in just 200 rupees. Whoa. Are you interested? Yeah. You get the biggest bomb bag if you got a bigger bomb bag and take it to him to upgrade it. Oh, too bad. Come again. So you can do that. Or... Thanks, I'm going to do business with the focus on Goron clientele. I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you if you're not a Goron. I'm not going to bother getting this bag yet anyway. It's regulation of the Business Scrub Association. It can't be helped. It hurts, I know. Oh, wait. Do I have the, uh... I do have a swap title deed. Oh, wait. That's right. Here's the weird thing. We thought you had to be regular link for this. No! Be the Deku Scrub. Hey, you stop me! Who thought I'd meet a fellow Deku in a place like this? I sell bomb bags, but focusing on mark my market efforts on Gorons. 
What I really like to do is go back home and do business where I'm surrounded by gra trees and grass. I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. You know what I mean? Means such as having a swamp title deed, such as this. Oh, it's a swamp title deed. I wish you'd give that to me. I'll give you this land in exchange. Ooh, now I got the mountain title deed. The next part of this quest has been revealed. You give it to this Deku scrub, and we're not even done this one yet. Go use the Deku flower. Oh, right back in the swamp. Yeah, you can go back and talk to these guys in their homes, but I don't think you really, like, get anything out of it. One abandoned his, one went to the town now, and one now has gone to the swamp. Yeah, this is a high one. This is for yet another beautiful piece of heart. So, yep. Yeah, it's worth doing that, at the very least, just for the, um, piece of heart. That's why I wanted to get it done. But yeah, as soon as you get 200 rupees... I could have just give, spent all my rupees on that, and I deposited them. God! MJ, once again, being a freaking moron when it matters most. Thanks for not rolling into me this time, you piece of shit. Oh, gee, I didn't realize how freaking, um, much of a hole there was there. Alright, anyway, before I end off this episode... Hey! So you want to go, huh? You want to go? Booty butt, bitch! Kill him my ass. Oh, yeah. Fear my dangerous, dangerous ass. It's a deadly thing, you know. But this combined in the bunny hood, you can get around places very quickly. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Do I dare try to go to the frickin' next temple now, or at least attempt to? I don't know. If I should. I could try, damn it. I could try, I guess. I don't know how deep I think I can get, though. You give me that heart, I need it because I keep wasting my energy. Oh well. Don't mind me. Instead, I'm going to save it on this episode. Also. Oh, never mind. Can you only collect fairies as a human? Ah, they only like actual humans. So, the fairies are also racist. You know, I should have figured that out for the first great fairy. I can't help you out if you're not a human. I can only give you magic. I can't actually give you something to help my other kin. They're more racist than I am. Max waits a lot. <laughs> Either way, let's end this episode. We now have our next song we need to get to the second dungeon. So I guess next time I'm going to make my way there. I'll consider going through it. Then again, there's something I haven't shown up at the uh, Swamp Temple yet. Woodfall Temple, excuse me. Basically... Did you remember in the first room there was that weird symbol that looked like Majora's Mask? What's it say you beat the boss before? Something will happen to one of those. It makes going through dungeons again very handy. Because as you'll learn from what to deal with this temple, things change when the temple's complete. So it may be necessary in the beginning of every cycle to make a shortcut so you can end the temple early. In case you can't tell what that means, you have to re battle the bosses of the temples as well. So, that'll be fun. As much as I do like battling some of the bosses, you know, having to do it to get things done is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, having to get through parts of the game over and over again to reopen up other quests. Again, the annoying factors will come in. So, go back next time. Hopefully, we'll make our way to the Snowhead Temple, which will be up the other path that I haven't gone up yet. See you then.